back here for another video one year rebuild challenge and we are doing kind of a random team but the san antonio spurs a legendary franchise really but you know they've been rebuilding for a while here and this is going to be pretty hard i feel like to win a chip here uh so i just sim this past season and in the sim in the lottery we have the fourth highest odds to give an m1 pick so let's see and we get the seventh pick we move down three spots wow okay that sucks um so we don't have greg popovich anymore that sucks so let's try and bring in this guy you know whoever i don't really care you know whoever whoever if we don't win the championship here we're, we're done you know the one job is to win the championship and you know a uh, reminder Team chemistry is off for the sim here. Um, okay, top three, same as real life. Keegan Murray, okay, number four, just like real life. This guy went way higher than real life. And that guy. So, number seven pick. We have a few options here. We could take Shaden Sharp. Um, I think I'm going to take Jaden Ivy here, though. And there's a good chance we might actually trade him, though. Um, because, let's see if we could trade these two picks for anything. But we might be trading those guys basically because, uh, you know, we got one year to win it all. This isn't a long-term rebuild or nothing. Okay, I'm actually going to make a pick here for these two, actually, and probably trade those guys. Okay, let's get Blake Wesley. And also, for the 20th pick, let's get Jalen Duran. I actually like that draft, to be honest. Um, okay, sign our three first-round picks, yes. Now, do we really have any friends, Looney Walker? Um, do we have cap? All right, we have a decent amount of cap, actually. Let's see if we can trade... Any really high contracts. Uh, like, can we trade Doug McDermott? That would be big. If we could trade him for, like, a low contract. Okay, so we got that. Can we also get maybe, like, a good player? All right, the Thunders pick. That would actually be a good pick, so let's do that. Um, so we could actually get a max contract here. So we got DeJounte Murray. Who else would we really need? Um, so we got our point guard. Let's see what we can get for Jacob Potal here. Potentially decent center, but we don't really need him here. I mean, could we go for um, DeAndre Ayton in free agency? We definitely could. So let's try and make some offers here. Do we... I mean, we could just get try and get Kyrie because, you know, he's a bucket getter. And team chemistry is turned off, you know. Um, Harden. I don't really want Zach Levine. We could go for Bradley Beal here. And it's not that competitive. See, I think Kyrie's going to sign with the Nets. Harden's going to sign with the Sixers. And Aiden's going to sign with the Suns. So I think bringing Bradley Beal in is the most realistic. Uh, for this, we actually have the best chance. Let's give him a max contract. And he signs with us. Let's go. So we have Bradley Beal now. Let's go. Okay, now into real phrases. Yeah, we got no cap now. Um, but we could still try and bring some guys in. Let's, let's try and get Hassan on white side. At one point, everyone thought he would be the future of the league. But he doesn't sign with us. Prince. Oh, come on. Okay, we're on day of six. Uh, can we get Gary Payton? Let's try and get a wing here. Jeremy Lamb. Okay. We're getting some... Oh, Jeremy Lamb doesn't sound with us. We're getting some, you know, good veteran presence here. Let's get Leonard and Josh Richardson. Can we, okay. 
See, I like this squad. So we are going to sim here to the season and then make some trades here. Hopefully, you know, some good trades. But we do get Bradley Beal. Um, that's good. So, Jontae Murray, Bradley Beal. That's what the team's around right now. What could we get for Kendall Johnson? All right. Might be a little hard because we have basically no cap, and he's only a four mil deal. So, we can only trade for someone on a really cheap contract as well. But I might... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Nothing really there. Now, what can we get for Podal? Can we get anything for Jacob Podal? Um... No, not really. So, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn uh, salary cap off just for the trade so we could actually get some good trades because that happens all the time in the real NBA. You know, if they're trying to make a trade, they could play around with the salary cap a bit. So just so we could actually get some value in these trades, I'm going to actually turn salary cap off so we could actually get, you know, uh, somewhat decent trade for these guys, you know, make it realistic a bit. So, Steven Adams, a bunch of picks so far. Okay, Spencer Dinwiddie, kind of like that, but I feel like we should trade for another center here. And I think I'm going to do this trade, even though they're basically the same guy. I like Steven Adams more than Jacob Podal. All right, I ain't going to lie. Now, Ken Kendall Johnson. We could definitely get a good player here with the salary cap off for this. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, a pretty solid player here. You know, he's a 23-year-old. Okay, Drew Holiday. He overall went down quite a bit. Capella. Okay. I like that Capella trade. Even though we just got... Okay, we... I kind of like Jeremy Grant there. Christian Wood as well. Jordan Poole. And Draymond? Hold up. I think I'm going to do this trade right here. Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. I like that. Now, Jaden Ivey. Can we get anything for Jaden Ivey? He was the number seven overall pick for us. But I think it would be in our best interest to uh, trade him. Um... Okay, two solid players there. Jeremy Grant. I think that's my number one option right now. Okay, I'm going to trade him for Jeremy Grant here. And Saban Lee. Okay, nice. Now, for... Okay, Trey Jones and Zach Collins. What can we get for them? Can we... I, like, I honestly like both those players, but if we get a really good deal here, which I honestly think we can get... Maybe. Okay, Capella. Nice. I think I might do this Capella trade. Uh, it's not even... That's only like 10 mil plus in the salary cap, realistically. So... Now, Josh Primo, I actually like him. I'm also going to keep Jalen Duran just because I like him. Josh Ritz is going to be signed for agency. Okay, so I'm going to quickly turn off salary cap and turn on salary cap and here is the squad now i like a lot um i actually want jeremy grant starting here jeremy grant starting at the three and then we got jordan Poole, stephen adams lee prince durin so we got an 11 man rotation right now don't know if i love that but, so we got Capella, Draymond Green, Jeremy Grant, Bradley Beal, and DeJounte Murray. I like that starting five. Plus, Jordan Poole and Steven Adams coming off the bench. We did turn off salary cap, but I feel like that was the best and the most funnest way to do this. Uh, so we can actually get some solid trade value. So chemistry is turned off. Remember that, because this would just be really hard if chemistry was turned on. Let's be really here. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, we are doing pretty solid right now. Sixth in the West. But, uh, you know, the Spurs, I'm hearing a lot of rumors right now that 
DeJounte Murray might get traded, like the Timberwolves, Hawks are looking at him. But I just don't know. I don't see why the Spurs would trade him. Wow, we're on a huge lose streak right now. What is happening? How are we losing? We got to pick it up. Come on. Um, but I, they developed him so much, and he's been balling out the last few years. I just don't see why the Spurs would trade him. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Personally, I just don't understand that. On a four-game lose streak here? Come on, we got to pick it up. We're only the 10th seed. Let's wake up. I think we have a pretty good squad here. Like, what's going on? Can we at least make the play in? But pull Lakers here. We're already at the trade deadline. Come on. Like, let's pause this. Check out the the roster. Like, Draymond, Capella. Like, we we got a team here. We got we got to wake up. Um. And team chemistry is turned off. You know, we got Buck, we got Brad Beal, Dejounte Murray, and also Bradley Beal. I mean, he definitely could leave in free agency, but I think he's gonna resign with the Wizards because he could be making like 50 mil a year. That's like winning the lottery every year. He could be making, even though the Wizards are a bit of a poverty franchise. Okay, we finished as the ninth seed. Luca, who would have guessed, wins the MVP in this game. So, not the best, uh, you know, was expecting better with this team. Like, let's check the roster out. We got DeJounte Murray, Bradley, like, we got a squad. We got Draymond, too. So, we face the Thunder here. Let's win this. And, okay, we are in the plane against Mavs. So, we're going to make the playoffs either way. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We lose, and we don't make the playoffs. Are you joking? We lose in the play-in with this. I mean, like, hold up. Team chemistry was off, right? Team chemistry off. I mean, this could just be 2K being 2K, and just the sim engine not, you know. Or maybe it's just this team doesn't fit together, you know? Who knows? Um, I do like this combo right here, but it didn't get done. We lose in the plan. Can't even make the playoffs here. That is a heartbreaker. So Spurs one year rebuild. We get fired by the owner. Owner bans us from the arena, and we can't get it done. But uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.